Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be starting a new series in my channel, or actually reviving an old series on my channel on how to code a Discord bot with Discord.js. So I actually had two previous videos that are, you know, kind of long ago, about two years ago that I did. Um, and I've got a lot of requests to continue the series. So I'm coming back and um, I'm starting the series up again, but I'm doing a little bit of a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to be doing mainly how to code Discord bot, but it's not going to be like a how to get started and then, you know, the intermediate stuff and then the advanced stuff, like an actual, like from beginning to end. But instead of that, I'm going to get the basics down. So I'm going to be recording some videos of the basics and then I'm going to be going into completely different topics on how to implement stuff to your Discord bot. So for example, in one video, I might do how to add the weather app or how to do a League of Legends Discord app, uh, or bot, uh, how to do a Fortnite Discord bot, and how to do stuff with your Discord bot. So uh, if you guys are excited and want to see more of those uh, tutorials and videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. And comment below um, what bot you want me to do next. What actual things should I integrate into the, the bot we're creating here? So once again, these are the basics. So I'm gonna be making about two or three videos on the basics of Discord. And then from there on, we will uh, be doing bots that will be kind of unique and stuff like that. And then we'll refer back to the basics. If one of you, you know, if you guys need help on anything, then you guys can refer back to these videos and it'll be kind of easier like that. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing you guys need to get started making a Discord bot, is you actually need two things. First of all, you need node.js. This is the uh, kind of, you can say the engine we build the robot on, the bot on. Uh, but this is basically what allows us to do is use uh, JavaScript outside of the browser, which is uh, very uh, important because we're using, again, we're going to use, use discord.js, which of course means uh, JavaScript. So we're going to be using JavaScript to create a bot. And node.js allows us to write JavaScript and run it uh, outside of the browser. So go ahead and download the recommended or the latest. I, I recommend doing the recommended and install it. it should be an easier process. Then we're going to need Visual Studio Code. So go ahead and go to code.visualstudio.com. All the links will be in the description. So you guys can just click on them and download this. This is the IDE that we're going to be using. How are we going to edit our code? Uh, there's a bunch of other IDEs that you can use, but I always recommend Visual Studio Code because it's the easiest. And then you're going to open up discordapp.com slash developers and then just leave it here. We're going to come back to it. So then we're going to need a folder. So make a folder in your desktop or whatever you want. I have one on my desktop. I call it Discord Bot. And here we're going to store our files for our Discord. So what we're going to do is we're going to open command prompt. So CMD. You can type it in the search button. And I think uh, you can just open up terminal if you're using the Mac. And then we're going to CD or get the terminal into the folder we have here. So my folder is in desktop. So we're going to CD desktop, desktop, and then we're going to CD into the folder. So Discord bot, and then we're in here. And then now we are going to start the bot. We're going to actually initiate node so we can start working in a node project. So we're going to do npn init. And what this is going to do is going to create a JSON file for us containing all of our properties of our project, which in this case is a Discord bot. So for package name, you can just leave it a Discord bot. The version, you can change the version of the project you're working in. For for now, we're gonna use uh, 1.0.0. And if you just wanna use what it's recommending, just press space. Description, we can leave that empty. Entry point, this is the main file of your project. You can change this in a, in a later uh, part of this video, but for now, we're gonna just use index.js, so press space. Test command space, repository space, keyword space, author. You can type your name or your nickname, whatever. Uh, license, just press space and then just press space. So what this did is it actually created a JSON file in the folder. And if we open up Visual Studio Code and we, first of all, let's, uh, oh, it actually opened automatically, but let's just open open folder so we can do that our own we're going to go to discord bot and select folder so just open it like, like that it, already, it was already opened so this is what should be here 
if you open the folder with Visual Studio Code, it's basically the package.json file, and this includes all of the properties that we just typed into the command prompt. So instead of you know typing this ourselves, we can just do the uh, np and init, and we'll do this uh, for us. So we don't have to type this. So once again, the name is Discord bot. You can change the version. Uh, the main file that we're going to be using is index.js and all the stuff. You can just change it. It was just creating a, a JSON file for us. The next thing we need is discord.js. So again, discord.js is going to be the library uh, that we're going to be using to connect to Discord. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, npn install discord.js and then dash dash safe. So that's going to save it. I'll show you guys what this means in a bit. So what this is going to do is it's going to go into the NPN like website and network, whatever, and it's going to download discord.js. Just ignore all this if it says warn, whatever. But basically, if you go back here in our dependencies, we got discord.js and then the version. That's what dash dash safe does. It actually adds a dependency into our package.json. And it actually created another folder in our little project node underscore modules and this has everything we need for uh connecting to discord and everything we need to start a discord project so next thing we're going to do is we can actually start the main file we have to create it so right here we do a new file we're going to do index.js and it's going to create our file so our program is going to run through this file all right so the first thing we're going to need is we're going to create a const const is basically a variable that cannot be changed and we're going to name it Discord. And what we're doing right now is we're requiring discord.js from this file. This is basically connecting uh, the API that we just installed into this file that we're creating here, our main source file. So we're going to create actually another const. And this const is going to be our client. So this client, of course, is going to be uh, basically our bot. Most people either name this client or bot. I usually like doing bot, but some people like doing client because it can be a little bit more specific. And then we're going to do new uh, equals new discord uh, discord dot client. And then we're just basically creating our bot here. After that, what we need is we got to go back into the uh, discord app that comes slash developers. And you're going to log in with your discord login. If you have one, if you don't make sure you just make a new discord, whatever the same uh, the same, uh, what's it called? The same login that you use normally to log into Discord. In here, once you log in, you're gonna see applications. These are some other bots that I have worked on before. And then you're gonna click New Application. We're gonna name your bot. We'll name your application, which is basically gonna be your bot. So we're gonna call it LionBot. Why not? After you've created this, we're gonna go right here into Settings and Bot, and we're gonna add bot. Yes, do it. This is going to create our bot. This was some people get confused. This was our application. So some people get confused between the application and the bot. So we create the application and we have to go into bot and build a bot from here. From here, you can add an icon. Uh, you can change the username of your bot. The username is going to be the uh, the name is going to pop out here. So it's going to be code lion. Uh, ignore this. We're actually going to create a new. Uh, channel right create a, create a discord channel let's just youtube uh tutorials or whatever create and this is going to be your channel i'm going to delete the other channel uh because this was uh, i was just testing everything before the video just making sure everything works fine uh, okay uh here we're gonna you can just change the, the username you can add an icon and we're gonna actually add this bot into our discord server so right here in bot permissions, uh, this is going to allow and you're going to tell the bot what kind of permissions it, have, it has. So if you want the bot to have an admin perm, this basically allows it to have everything. Just click admin and it'll allow everything. If you just want it to send messages or manage roles or do specific stuff, you can go ahead and just customize your bot as much as you want. We're just going to make it an administrator and continue. All right, so the next thing you need is you're gonna go into discord discord uh it's not discord perms calculator i'll have this in the description which is discord api.com slash permissions whatever and this is again it's going to do basically the same thing here but uh 
through here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the client ID, which is going to be the generation uh, client ID. So going to general information. Now we're going to copy this here and we're going to again do the administrator and we're going to get this link. And this is basically a normal link. If you guys have ever joined a discord server before, you have probably gone through a link such as this, uh, which should just allow you to add a bot to your server, whatever. So go ahead and if you're already logged into Discord with your browser, uh, you can actually go ahead and select server. And we created a server called, see I have a lot of YouTube tutorials here. Uh, I think we named it YouTube Tutorials with an S. So we're going to click on, ooh, there's actually two. I misspelled one. No, I didn't. Which one shall it be? All right, let's just try this one. And then you click this right here. And then it's going to give you a, a thing right here, blah, blah, blah. And it should be there, right? Did I click the wrong one? Yeah, this is the wrong one. All right, let's do that real quick. One more time. Uh, I think we clicked that one, so let's click this one. All right, add bot, blah, blah, blah. And there you go. So I'm actually gonna, actually I'll delete them later. So if you did this successfully, you will see that you have your, your app or your bot right here. It should show up. Once again, the thing that will show up, the name will be this name right here, Lionbot, and then that basically is that. That's basically it to, um, to be finished creating the bot on the Discord side. Next, we actually have to implement the login information to our uh, our project here. So our login, it's gonna allow this project to log in into the bot. So to be able to log in into uh, Lionbot. And to do this, we actually need a token. So I'm actually gonna create a const, I'm gonna call it token, and it's gonna be equal to just a string. And I'm actually gonna go back into the developers, the, uh, the, the, you know, the page we were just in, and we actually have to get the token. So right here it says token, click to reveal token. This is basically the password to your uh, bot. If anyone has a token, anyone can copy your token, they will have access to edit your bot, to turn it on, turn it off, and we'll be able to mess with your bot. So keep this uh, secret. I'll just click regenerate every you know, tutorial. Uh, so no one can actually come here and edit my bot. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it into the token. And again, it's a cost, so it cannot be changed. Then we're going to do something called bot.login. And this is basically going to log in into the bot. And we're just going to type token here. So instead of typing it there, blah, blah, blah. So this is going to log in into our bot. We're basically done. If we run this file, we will see that the bot is it's online and this should turn online if we run this. But I want to make sure that the bot is ready. I want to see it in the console command say the bot is online. It's just a little bit helpful. So we do bot done and this is a little bit more advanced. We'll probably touch on these kind of stuff uh, next video. And these are basically like the commands that we can give our bot. So we do dot bot that on and then we'll open the parentheses ready then it's going to be a little bit advanced we're going to do a comma and then we're going to do basically a arrow function an arrow function is just basically creating a function but it's you know without it's just an easier way to create a function so we're going to do an arrow function just like this and then we're going to console console.log and we're just going to log bot is okay we're just going to do this bot is online or whatever and what this is going to do is when the bot is ready and it's on, it's going to message the client or the log, the console, this bot is online. All right, so let's test our bot and see if everything's working. And if it's not, we'll go back and see what it, if it's not working and how to fix it. So to open up the client, I mean the console through a Visual Studio Code, you could do it here, but it's, it's just easier to open the console from the Visual Studio Code. You actually do control tilde key to open it up. Um, I'll have the how to do it with Mac on the description. So you because I don't know at my top of the head uh, And then it's gonna open the console up the terminal in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do node space dot and We don't when we do this it's gonna run our bots and it's gonna say this bot is online If you go back into discord, we see that our bot is online So it was offline before but now we see it's online we really can't interact with our bot because all we have done is allowed node.js and discord.js to log in 
and to run it and to start the bot. That's all we have done. We haven't added a command. We haven't added anything. We're actually going to do something quickly and it's just add a command just to see, to show you guys that it actually works. This is going to be in the next episode. I'm going to go into detail onto how to actually do this. So we're going to do bot.on and we're going to do the same thing as the ready, but this time it's going to be message and we're actually going to pass uh, a message right here. And it's the same thing as the arrow function we uh, did before. Here we're going to do message uh, that content content is going to be equal to let's say uh, I'm going to say hello actually capital hello and then with this we're going to oh wait I actually messed up guys sorry it's going to be an if statement so if message dot content equals hello then we're going to open it up oh once again I'll explain this in the next video when I talk about commands and we're going to do message that reply and we're going to reply, hello, friend. And that's it. So let's do that. We're going to close our bot, which is control C uh, on uh, Windows. It might take a while for this to go offline because it has to connect to the Discord uh, servers and say, hey, this guy's going offline. So after this, hopefully we can actually just run it again. Node space dot. And say, this bot is online. And it didn't go offline once again because it took a while. But now we can actually type hello like this, all caps. And the bots can respond at a lash hello friend. So that's how basically commands work. We're going to go through how, you know, more in detail next video about commands. But you basically have your bot ready. You can run it anytime you want by clicking node dot, node, node space dot. And that's basically it. If you guys want to edit your bot a little further, like add a picture or something else go ahead and you know mess around with this I suggest not to mess around too much with like the tokens and stuff like that uh, but for example if someone you know someone uh, saw your token or has access to your token just click regenerate and it's gonna give you um, a new token you just copy that and paste it up here and it should be oops it should be simple as that if someone gets your token all right, so we're gonna actually turn off the bot so it's not running our server into our computer. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. This is how you start your bot. It's as simple as this. It only took, what, 16 lines of code, and there's actually some spaces around, so around like 13 lines of code it took uh, to create our bot, and then everything else was kind of done through the developer's uh, portal in Discord. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please comment below any suggestions on what kind of integrations we can do in the bot. Examples would be like, hey, make a a like League of Legends like look up match history bot or whatever. Be specific. Let me know what you guys want to see in this channel. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later in the next video.